Seven Coronation Street characters in huge danger as Pat Felon returns. Who's definitely on Felon's hit list? With evil Pat Felon's reign of terror over Coronation Street set to come to a dramatic climax next week, we're about to be treated to some of the most exciting episodes the soap has ever seen. And with Felon on a mission to get revenge and retribution, it seems no one in Weatherfield is safe. But who is at the top of the serial killer's list of most wanted victims? 1. Eileen Grimshaw Ever since that heart-stopping moment that Eileen let Pat Felon fall into the ICC at Easter, she has secured herself the prime spot at the top of her husband's hit list. Despite the fact she thinks he's been dead for the last few months, that hasn't stopped poor Eileen's tormented mind playing tricks on her. And with Faye Windass making her think that perhaps Felon is still alive, fragile Eileen is a woman on the edge. Despite the fact Eileen was once one of Felon's rare weak spots, it seems the love he once had for his wife might be gone now she's turned against him after discovering the heinous crimes he's committed. Could his return to the cobbles mean Eileen's card is well and truly marked? Really marked? 2. Seb Franklin Tormenting and manipulating Seb has been one of Felon's favorite pastimes over the past few months, but since he sided with Anna Windass during her court case, Seb has made himself a firm enemy in Mr. Felon. His close relationship with both Eileen and Nicola will mean that Seb is most definitely on the serial killer's radar. In fact, he has been on borrowed time ever since he hid in Nicola's flat so that Felon couldn't find him. If there's one thing Pat doesn't take kindly to, it's being played for a fool. 3. Nicola Rubinstein Being Felon's own flesh and blood doesn't necessarily mean you're safe from his killer ways. In fact, the boundary between love and loathe seems to be a slightly blurred one for the builder and Nicola has certainly pushed her dad to his limits as she discovered his true colors and tried to out him to the police. There is one saving grace for Nicola, and that's the fact she is carrying Felon's grandchild. One thing Felon is, apart from a killer, is a narcissist, and with Nicola carrying his legacy, surely that means she should be safe? But with Nicola set to give birth just before Felon returns, does that mean her life, once again, is in mortal danger? 4. Gary Windass it's fair to say that Gary has been one of Felon's biggest enemies over the years. Not only is Gary determined to get revenge for his mum's rape and the fact she is currently serving time for a crime she didn't commit, but as the father of Nicola's baby, he is also desperately trying to protect his child from his murderous granddad. For a long time Gary fought to stay alive as he tried to prove Felon is more than just a dodgy builder with a habit of scamming innocent victims. He is also the one who eventually tracks the killer down to a caravan in Wales and brings him unceremoniously out of hiding and back to where it all began. The cobbles. But has Gary just signed his own death warrant by not calling the police and letting them do their job? 5. Sarah Platt Although she might not have her own direct vendetta with Felon, Sarah will find herself caught in the middle of the horror next week when boyfriend Gary brings Felon back to the cobbles for his final showdown. It has been revealed that a gunshot rings out in number 11 after Felon manages to escape the chair Gary has tied him to at the builder's yard. But is it Sarah who gets caught in the crossfire and is about to meet her maker? Maker? 6. Michelle Connor after someone gets shot at Eileen's house, Felon is set to have a moment of clarity and heads to the bistro with his victim to ask for some first aid. But unfortunately for Bride Michelle, her wedding just happens to be in full swing, leading to her being center of attention on her big day for all the wrong reasons. It's no secret that Michelle is set to get caught in the crossfire on her wedding day, but is this the day she dies as well as ties the knot? Kim Marsh, who plays the doomed bride, has just helpfully revealed that she has signed another 12-month contract with the soap, so signs say she is set to live.
But could this be a huge bluff from Koi, meaning Michelle's days really are numbered? They are numbered? 7. Felon himself. Soap laws state that every killer must get their comeuppance, and it has been confirmed that Felon will get his next week. But will he be leaving the cobbles in handcuffs or a body bag? If he dies during this last terrifying stand, who will be the one to do the grisly deed? Could Felon die at the hands of one of his longtime nemeses? Or perhaps the police? Or could something happen that would make him turn the gun on himself?